Bro, if I got trapped in a box with my ex for 12 hours, we fucking when the video is over. That's why I don't that's why I don't talk to my exes or ex. That's just not a good idea. Fuck. Oh my god, I forgot to All right, bro. Damn it. She be moving and shit like, you know, whatever, bro. She going to see this? I don't give a fuck. I think I've ever like been that in love with anybody. So why'd oh, you fuck it up? And she don't ain't. Who'd you cheat on here? Who who did she on you with? Hey, a little hug or something or no? Hey. Oh no, nah, that much space in between. Shit might change, bro. Shit might change. Yeah. Uh, after you, I guess. The breakup <sighs> happened May of 2019, more or less. Like junior year of our college. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. Yeah. I like this. Yeah. It's comfy. Uh -huh. I think there are things that. Both of us did. There was an incident our junior year, and so I kind of want to get into that. Before junior we start, year in college? Would you, would you like a tic tac or, or no? Do you think at the end of the 12 hours mm -hmm. there's any chance you could fall back in love with him? Oof. Um, I, I don't think so. We could leave potentially maybe starting something new. What do you mean by? Like potentially getting back yeah. together. Maybe. She still what did it. you uh, think when I uh, texted you if you wanted to be here? All right, Chad, look, all dick sucking aside, he's younger than me. He's younger than me. Just all dick sucking aside. That's all I'm going to say. Here. A couple conversations. So I was like, what better way than sitting in a box where you can't sit on your phone and you can't leave? I don't think either of us will really come out of here angry. Well, I guess wait and see, I suppose. Who has to go? It was a long oh, that's a, process. That's a, that's we a, were friends for a long time. We were friends we, for a few months. We became like best. <laughs> she said, like, bro, when you get these totally different answers, bro, it just make one nigga look like they delusional and the other nigga look like they don't give a fuck. We were friends for a long time. We were friends for a few months. This bitch lying. Mm -hmm. I, say I knew that I liked you. You are, were and still are very attractive and beautiful and stylish and very fun to be around and stuff. Stylish? And so we go to this little party, we all get really drunk. You started making up with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it was a game. At this point it was like, what, four or five in the morning. And I was like, I should probably go because I have work tomorrow at like 10. <laughs> so you walk me like out of the building. Yeah, at work at Urban Outfitters. And as I'm leaving, we engage in copious amounts of making out and then i think the next day is when we had the conversation of he's like, the one who she okay are we officially boyfriend girlfriend and we were like yes and that was september 24th you know we were together for a while close to two years i guess in that time you know there were mistakes that were made and stuff i just wanted to apologize because i cheated on you when we mm. were together damn and that really hurt you damn a lot Damn. It's one of those things that, to this day, I still think about, like, really often. It really wasn't fair, especially you, you know, being the kind person that you are and being the yeah, type of out, girlfriend Nick. that you were and the type of friend that you were and how, how important you were to me. I think I was just so, like, caught up in, like, the self-loathing of it. I would if he says sorry right now, like, in a different way without the camera, she definitely would leave with him. It would, it would cut the video, uh, cut, ironic, cut the video right now. Wasn't even able, able to like- She's all the way in, she's real in. To, like, You're just see you. imploding. And, like, and that made things worse, I think, but- uh, I think living together made it worse. Good night, yeah, Sean and I chat. So. Bye. Thing. After you broke Thanks for up tuning in, we love you. acted like we were still dating without the label. Well, we never like did stuff after we broke up. No, we didn't, but like you would say like, hey, sugar tits, and I'm like- What? Yeah, you were like in a silly, goofy mood. And you smacked my butt too, and I'm like, what? Yeah, that was definitely stuff that was. It was, not... you were having a moment. And then we had the final. As you, I'm sure you're aware of where I'm going with this. We, I don't know, studied for an hour. And then I was getting sleepy, and I don't even know why you suggested I like, sleep in your room. I was literally right next door. Yeah, well, I remember you were, because you were on my bed, and you were like sort of sitting, but you were lying, lying down. Yeah. And you were. I thought that was going somewhere crazy. 
I'm like, wait, uh, what are you about to say? We're like literally dozing off. So what I meant was like, if you want to like sleep for a minute, like, like you can. All of a sudden, like I had woken up and I had felt like a hand on my thigh. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, bro. No, 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 no. You are a victim. What do you mean? Where is this going? I fucked the cheating. This is way worse. That's weird. I don't know what to do. I'm sure it'll stop. I kind of wanted to see your perspective. What was going through your head? I think. What you? you, you the, 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 wait, 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 no, no, no. You can't just skip over that. Why did they fast forward? Like this nigga definitely admitted to some criminal shit just now. My thigh. And I'm like, that's weird. I don't know what to do. I'm sure it'll stop. I kind of wanted to see your perspective. What was going through your head? I think one of the hardest parts for me when we first broke up and we were, especially since we were still living together. What? When you're with somebody for a long time and you're used to having a certain physical intimacy Nigga. and a certain relationship. She just said, I thought it was going to stop. After she got the thigh touched, I thought it was going to stop. That means he kept going. What happened? Relationship and a certain things. Obviously, like I knew that once we ended, those things had to end, but it's not like, you know, it's not possible for like any person to just like have like a. I am ready. Okay, here I we go. Whoa, <laughs> hold on, bro. I recognize that guy. No. Hold switch on. that you flipped and go from like boyfriend mode to friend mode especially things with like physical physical contact and i didn't realize that i'm really sorry and i i really do apologize about making you feel that way and and and, and putting my hands on you in a way that i shouldn't have i really really hope that you'll hear me and n know that i i didn't intend for it mm. to Bruh. be a harmful you know aggressive i didn't i didn't intend to like try to force myself on you is that what you're saying the thing it was um it was weird it didn't feel aggressive I was just, after that point, I was unsure. Is it time for what? a potty break by chance? Yeah. Do you think yeah, he need to go after that one. Just be friends. It's weird, because I've got a vibe. Um, what do you mean a vibe? When I moved to Korea, he made me a playlist that was like nine hours, ten hours, and all the oh, songs Oh no, bro, like, that's I like miss crazy. You. If it were up to me, I'd be with you. And like songs like that. So I was like, what? Is, is he, we're musicians, is he trying to send me a message? any new ways that you're feeling? I feel like it felt really healthy and it felt pretty natural, I think. Who is better at that? Probably, probably uh, you. Me? Probably. Why probably? Experience. Expe <laughs> I guess, yeah, I, I have more sexual. See, these are the niggas that be like, and they, they try to like, I don't believe this is his real voice. I don't believe this is his real style. Like niggas like this try their best to be as unintimidating as humanly possible. So that when they get around certain women, they'll feel like, oh, this isn't a threat. Like, at all. Like, walking up on this nigga, stereotypically, you might assume that he isn't uh, extremely masculine uh, guy's guy. And so when he talks in this soft tone, he's got, I'm, I'm assuming he's got these little earrings or whatever, this yee ass haircut. It's like, oh, this is fine. He's not one of those, and he 100% is. He weird. For partners, I think we, we made it a, a good team, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> we were. <laughs> you need to wrap your scissors, slide, You're braiding hair. I mean, I don't know that you can braid my hair, but I can braid your hair. Okay. Oh, God, yeah. please don't. So the Spotify playlist you made, eh? Yeah, you like it? There's quite a few songs in there. Yeah. When I was listening to it in Korea, I was like, mm, are you sending a message? <laughs> <laughs> I was not intending to send you any kind of a message. Look at this nigga braiding bitch's hair, bro. Like, this isn't something regular niggas do. This is something that niggas who are on the prowl do so they can get close. And when they least expect, pounce. I've seen niggas like this. And niggas, when, when niggas see niggas like this, it's like, what he doing? What he doing? That don't seem normal. It just don't seem right. Music. 
Were you hoping that I was? I mean, I wouldn't say I was hoping, but it seemed a little too, like, I'm gonna pull that playlist up later and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Honestly, a big piece of it was like, I know you're gonna be on a fucking flight for a long time, so, like, if you're absolutely bored and you get sick of your own music and you want some fresh tunes, then here you go, mate. Nah, that's not too bad. Bro. That's That ain't too bad. How's it going? It's going good. Time's flying. You said maybe you would consider getting back together. Do you feel more strongly about that? It's still kind of coming along now that we're kind of getting into like deep, deeper conversations and like talking about issues that were really just pushing our relationship. I think it's starting to get a little bit stronger. It's not ruled out. What else do you want to explore? Definitely the pregnancy. Pregnancy? Are you having any romantic feelings for her right now and being with her this long? <laughs> uh, wow, okay. <laughs> That's a great question. You know, it's like as we're reminiscing and like talking about things and thinking about memories, there's definitely moments where like I just kind of look at her and remember those feelings. He not fucking with her no more. Moments and sort of think like, yeah, like it's it's a hard thing to not want back. Do a little yoga. You want to teach me some yoga? Me too. You're gonna bring that back. This straight one? back. Straight back. Like lean down, lay down. <laughs> I feel like a seal. <laughs> <laughs> That's more <what we're> dolphin. <laughs> Did you two talk about marriage? When? Uh, okay. When we dated? Yeah, yeah. When we dated, for sure. Like briefly, not much. Like uh, it came they up weren't. Several they weren't. Times. Yeah, but they weren't All like right. in gross detail. I don't know if you remember this. We straight up had conversations about like. Here goes ready about how we would raise our kids like religiously speaking we were like if we have kids you were like i want to raise my kids christian and i was like i'm not christian but if you want to raise them that way like that's fine just know that i i'm not necessarily in that yeah belief. oh we know we talked about religion quite a bit throughout the relationship <laughs> like i would ask oh, we know because it means a lot just for you to show up right just to come to my church i think it was hitting a nerve with your experience with your dad stepdad. and hit stepdad mm -hmm. and his pushiness but going was something that was like upsetting you and I didn't want to do anything to like make you upset but I didn't want to say it's okay that you don't come so what happened with that point has always been a breaking point with me and guys and people I've been with yeah oh, to this day so I don't think I've ever like been that in love with anybody so why'd you fuck it up and cheat on me because this isn't the first time you've told me, oh, I love you so much, or like, I'm so in love with you. Because <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot, honestly. Because I'm fucking, fucking stupid, and I... Were you just not thinking? No. So why didn't you tell me immediately? I really thought I was doing better by you by not. This is how they get in, though. It is, this is how they get in. All you gotta do is get her to keep asking questions. Like, why this, why that? Does the answer really matter? It don't matter. I did it. I did it. You don't wanna know why, you just don't wanna look stupid. You want me to give you a reason that you feel is justifiable in your mind so that when we walk out of here and we fuck later, you feel like at least I made them work to some degree for something but you already know where this is going you know what's up I'm telling you I couldn't think to myself like I fucked it up so bad that she's gonna leave me and uh. I don't want to lose her <laughs> nigga said he fake fruity yes. <laughs> they're good they're really good uh -huh. mm -hmm. do you think if we were to date now where we are in our lives mm -hmm. we would be better for each other I think so. We can't be worse than we were for each other. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's over. You seem a lot more like mentally healthy personally because I think you were yeah, your worst enemy over. when you were dating. It's you over. definitely would be a lot better for each other. I think now. there are still some challenges to get over. Sure. If we were to date. Yeah. Um, number one being that I'm pregnant. <laughs> Can you give us some more context of how he knows already? Mm. I had moved to Korea to teach English, and I uh, met a guide over there, and he was really kind to me, he made me laugh. One night they we had sex, and after immediately this after sure. having sex, I was like, 
I'm pregnant. I'm gonna Slapping be pregnant. Slapping bellies. Before I got the actual pregnancy test, I broke up with him. And I had said, if I actually am pregnant, I'm going to move to America. My support system's there. And we had a long conversation, which ended in me being called childish. And so I flew back. I think you were the, one of the first friends I saw. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, whether or not she decides to have the baby, I do believe should be her choice. But, like, taking my kid to a totally different country is something that's not really... <laughs> that's a totally different conversation. We gotta... We gotta change that. Because that's a little... That's a little OD. That's... That's like, whoa? Like, huh? That's a little different right there. We The rights have to begin at some point. And I don't believe her. I don't know why I don't believe that she's like something about the same right. Ask her, are you looking for someone to raise your child with? <laughs> are you looking for someone to raise your child with? Am I seeking somebody? No. It would be nice mm -hmm. to have someone to help. Because I don't want to meet someone and then say, hi, I'm pregnant. I'm going to have a child. Like, if you're with me, you have to take care of the kid. Narrows down the pool. <laughs> Significantly. <laughs> You've made a lot of hard choices, and I applaud you for everything you've done so far, honestly. How are mm -hmm. you doing with it? It was a struggle. I was not happy when I found out I was pregnant. And I had kind of thought about abortion, but I did some praying and realized that <laughs> you can't really make a plan in your life because it's not always going to go how you want it to. There's no point in a plan, and this is my life is led by God, so. I guess I'm going back to America. That's where I'm needed. I just find it weird when people say this because it's like, when does the religion start and then when does it end? Or the, it's like these random laps of... It's okay to just be like, yeah, I made a mistake. Like, you look at your, you look at your parents and you look at yourself, you'd be like, yeah, I was probably a mistake. They didn't plan for me to be here. That's fine. But now it's like, bro, what what you talking about? What does got to do with God at this point? This is me. This is me. God intended, like, planned for you to have a baby? Yeah, I think so. Cool. It's scary, but, like, it's literally showing me I have so many people that I can count on and that can help me. And that's what helped me move back here. Hypothetically, if we were to get back together today, what would that look like? I mean, there's so many, so many unknowns in question because I'm pregnant. I would like to think because we've gone through the small talk portion of like, oh, um, where are you from? Where are you from? We're <laughs> already to the point where we know yeah. enough about each and other. And we know that we click. I'd want you to go to church weekly. Oh, no, this is crazy. Because it is my identity. Again, it's literally just supporting me, not necessarily believing all of it. Another pro of hypothetically getting back together today. Having a stepdaddy. <laughs> Having a stepdaddy. That's a pro for you. Uh, hmm, what do you miss most Louis, about me? Uh, okay. What do I miss most about you? Yeah. <sighs> like one thing or like several things? I mean, you can give me a list. <laughs> <laughs> Even in our relationship, we really were like best friends first. Like, we absolutely were. You really quite were my other half. You had a lot oh of love to give, and it was, it was very beautiful to receive. Bro, these jeans tight as fuck. All my little dramas and, like, Holy. your little partner crime. So your I would just literally, crime. whatever I knew, you knew. Also, having someone that makes me laugh to the point I cackle. It's been a long time since I've heartily laughed. <laughs> like, legitimately. You're a man of moody moods. Moody moods, what that means. Like songwriting. You wrote a, several songs about me. Well, I wrote songs about you before we were dating, and I wrote at least one song for you while we were dating. Do you remember that? For Christmas. Oh, yes. The Tommy girl, the girl, with, the girl with yellow hair. And the Pop-Tarts. Back when you were, <laughs> back when you were blonde. <laughs> it's probably somewhere still Six on my phone. Six months ago, I, I met this girl really... who told me she could draw real. Look at this. Like, what? What's going on, bro? 
I'm not even upset about his, his stance or his, his pose right now. That has nothing to do with what I'm saying right now. This is just everything wrong with relationships. It is. This is everything that people believe relationships should be. It's just not. Get the fuck off of me. You grown as hell. Go over there, bro. Go sit down. I fuck with you, but over there. I want my space. Chill. They doing a lot. Real well, but she they doing a lot. Mention. Her real talent was stealing hearts. Is there a date going to happen? It could, could be. We've been talking about going to the zoo. We have. Bro, y'all doing it. It's already zoo. done. The honors. Did you consider it a date or would it just be like, we're friends? I think I'm going to the zoo with someone on my own. It's a date. <laughs> <laughs> the zoo is my date spot. <laughs> the zoo is your date spot. Zoo and then dip and dots. Well, I <laughs> Do you want a date? Uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed. That was weak. It's either all in or like. I told you you weren't interested like no, that. No. He'll do yeah, it with you, though. That's true. He'll fuck. I would say yes. But at the same time, I feel like maybe I would need a little bit of time to think about it. Now that the hypothetical is becoming more real, you know, the it's like if it's, if it. it's, you know, like if it's in, it's all in kind of thing, you know what I mean? And like there's history and there's people and there's families and there's baby and there's this and there's drama and there's these things. My initial response is to say yes. I'm trying to think of how that handshake went. I barely so remember. So there's okay. smack, smack, back. pinky, birdie, pull it back, fist bump. <laughs> Did we shake on it? Is that our? We shook oh, on it. We sure. One date. One date. Bing. Bing. Okay. Bro, all this food. Gone by faster than I thought. Yeah. I guess time flies. When you're having when fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, you finish your sandwich. I go take a potty stretch break. Okay. <laughs> Don't hit the microphone, don't hit the microphone. Ah, look at me. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. You going on a date? I guess so. You agreed to a date? I guess so, yeah, yeah. She seemed a little disappointed that you are kind of hesitant. I guess it, it felt like a big thing to say yes to, you know, like kind of a big commitment. Um, but I think I've come around a little bit like, it's, you know, one date at least. It might not be like a super high stakes event. Before today, as we had been reconnecting, mm -hmm. had you had any thoughts of like a possibility of getting back together with me or like seeing me that way at all in any sense? Did it cross my mind? Yeah. Like when I was in Korea. Prior to that, not really. The more we kind I'm of started lost. talking, the more sides of you I had seen and the more reliable you became as a person just in my life. Bro, this the nigga assaulted kind you. Of brought into question like. Can I trust you again? My eventual answer as the father of the baby had broken my trust, what I had told him was, it took you three years, but I would say you built my trust back. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get back together, but in talking with you, I think it was always in the back of my mind as a possibility. Like I could see <laughs> if we could work again. Bro. If I were to have kids with somebody, I think you would be a pretty good person to have kids. I like to hear that. Yeah. Oh Thank my you, God, baby. he reeled her in. <laughs> White See, bro, this is the same thing as talking to a, like, I feel like to me, this is the same thing as talking to an underage girl. Talking to someone who's like this mentally breakable, this mentally moldable. It's like, uh, is there even any... What do you get out of this at this point? If I'm getting basically everything that is, this ain't, that's not attractive. I, I want to talk to someone who's not going through all these things. On top of that, you're pregnant, so you you really unstable. I'm Hispanic. Yeah, I mean, it's a good combo. <sighs> ah, shit. <laughs> At any point during this experience, have you thought about kissing me? Yeah. Really? I thought, Please like, don't. would I want to? Like, what would it be like? After this, would I kiss him? 
Oh, like shit. by the car, just by like the car. <laughs> sneaky after hours. <laughs> <laughs> sneaky. Who is she? Chaotic. <laughs> like, let's explore that. And I was thinking about it, and I was like, it, all while you were talking. So I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this baby about to get messed the fuck up, and that's crazy, because that's gonna be his origin story. Please don't touch the baby, bro. That's all I'm saying. I didn't listen that's it. No, that's to okay. things you were saying. You were getting lost in my voice. What can oh I say? I tend to have that lost effect on people. <laughs> <laughs> you want to peck? Sure. Here. Oh, please. Give me a little kissy. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Bro, I'm cringing. She said I'll give you a little kissy. I knew they was fucking, bro. Ew. Okay, bro, come on, stop. Maybe more than a peck. Maybe more than a peck. Not bad. Not bad. Room for improvement. Beard burn is never. <laughs> the beard burn. Never. Bro, the, the spark That's not going just away flew in her mind. You two kissed. We we did. We did. When's the last time you kissed? Last time we dated. When we dated, yeah, <laughs> three years ago, I guess. I was not expecting you to ask me if I wanted to kiss. I will. I will be honest. I was, you thought I was, I was gonna sit over here and twiddle my fingers and. <laughs> and just secretly want it. Yeah. Bro, you're too bendable right now. I can't. Okay. Do you feel like after today so far, do you feel like you are more attracted to me than you were before today? Before today? Yeah. I think I've got a lot of hard questions out there and very interesting answers. How about you? After today, our whole experience, how are you finding me? <laughs> how are you finding me? I've never not found you physically attractive, but... The other other part, emotional, intellectual, I definitely think those were heightened as of today. How? <laughs> what do you mean emotional you attraction? How are you more six ninety nine oh. each? And with sixteen slices, that's <laughs> how are you more attracted to her after seeing everything that she said? How could you how could you even say that? She is the one of the most emotionally unattractive people I have seen. This is crazy. I feel bad. Oh, that's my ring. <laughs> You're the one that's already. You're the one with the rings, huh? I know, you keep hitting with knocks. <laughs> Ducks. What's up? Nothing much. Nothing much. Just been hanging out in the box. Just been hanging out in the box. Back down to the final hour. Final hour? Uh, Holy moly guacamole. You two kissed. <laughs> Honestly, I was not planning that. If I weren't in this environment, I probably wouldn't have kissed him. Were you expecting that? Uh-huh. Like to kiss? Yeah. Uh, not at all, honestly. I was more surprised that she would be willing to kiss, you know? Do you that think was... you're deserving of her affection? I am doing what I can to, to, make, to make up for the past and to right my wrongs and sort of make up for what I did and what, what has happened between us. If my best is enough and it's what she would require and what is needed, uh, in that case, yeah. I stood up and looked around. There was nothing oh, yeah. to be found. It's over for her. She done. Sing in water. Final five ish minutes. How has this been? What for the you? fuck? Ah, honestly, pretty fun. It was nice spending time with you. And, you know, I always enjoy being near you and around you. And learned a lot. You know, we broke through some barriers. Did you think it would go as fast as it did? No. What about you? It's been fun. I learned a lot. Kind of things I thought I wanted to hear, things I needed to hear. Wasn't anticipating leaving here having a date. It's over, you about to destroy her. I, yeah. I was definitely not anticipating kissing. She was broken yeah, before, but now so you're about to get destroyed. So it felt like planned and spontaneous and all the fun parts of knowing yeah. somebody and like getting to know somebody. Yeah, it definitely felt like an experiment. Woo! <laughs> we did it! Yay! Talk it out too, or not? Sure. Yeah, my butt. Sorry, I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I really love you. Love you. Yeah. you know, it's, oh it's my great. god, bro. Oh. I'm happy to have you in my life again. This shit made me cringe, bro. Me too. All right, you did it. Okay.
Wow. You ready to get out and be free? I mean, I can show. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, you want to stay here longer? Yeah, I mean. Are you surprised by what happened? Yeah, I guess I'm a little bit surprised about how uh, comfortable and easy it felt to just be so candid. I think we're back. I thought he's about to say, I'm surprised after I tried to rape this bitch that she still let me kiss her. Um, yeah, I just think that shit like this, bro, is just, it made me feel weird because as someone who, like, looks at people and I'm like, yo, this person clearly is not in a position to be dating or they're not in a position to be dating me, I probably should just step away. Even though I could get everything I want out of this person, I should probably back up. It's only going to mean more of a headache for me later, too, especially if she ends up being crazy. I've had to deal with that situation, too. But you need to make sure. Sometimes you got to sometimes you got to actually put other people before yourself. Sometimes. And be like, you know what? Am I going to be doing more harm than good by entertaining this person? Probably. And it's even worse. They might have a kid. She probably about to have a kid. I don't even I don't know what I don't know what people are capable of. You really don't. I have no idea. Of course. Of course. I have no idea what people are capable of. I just don't want to be responsible or contribute to whatever happens in the future. I don't want to be a contributing factor as to why you end up doing X, Y, Z or why you feel X, Y, Z. Especially if I'm the main person that caused it. I want to be away from you. Oh, and it's hard to do that sometimes, too. Because some of these bitches be fine. But gotta care about people sometimes and sometimes caring means stepping away but that's what he should have done because this ain't going nowhere fast this ain't going nowhere fast bro that's just bad that's bad right there to being best friends potentially on the way to something more i guess we'll go on a date um and see how it goes see how it feels um and i'll let you know <laughs> Damn, bro. That's fucked. How am I bugging? I'm not bugging at all. You don't fuck with bro? I mean, it's okay. You know, normally people don't fuck with people who, like, force their will on other people. But <laughs> it's not it's not a crazy taste.